What is happening guys? Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a, a watch review. Uh, another watch review, but not just a regular watch review. We're doing a very special one. This is one that caught my eye right away because one, they are wooden. They're wooden. And I've only ever actually had the chance to review one other wooden watch brand. I really liked that one. So when I saw these were wooden watches, I was all over it. And the other reason, reason number two, is they are handmade. And you know I'm a big supporter and fan of handmade and handcrafted anything, really, because I know the dedication and hard work that it takes to, to do stuff like this. You know, whether it be watches or hair products. or I, I know the work and the time that it takes to really put together a project like this. So when they offered me the chance to take a look at what they created here, I was 100% down to do it. Let me just go ahead and start with this disclaimer, though, for the watch enthusiasts out there. I know this is a very touchy subject for some of you guys that are really into watches. I am not a watch enthusiast. I'm not a, a expert on watches or timepieces. I'm not an expert on movements. I'm not really any type of authority on watches. I am just a fan of of really cool watches whether it be made by Seiko or you know really any other brand including this one I just look for things that catch my eye I'm in no way saying that anything is better than anything else I'm not telling people that you know this is made with the best parts in the world they I, I really don't know a whole lot about different parts and things like that in a nutshell really I'm just giving you guys my thoughts on something that I thought was very cool that's all I'm doing here so allow me to introduce you to the great smoky watch company this is a new company that was formed here in 2020 with the goal in mind according to the brand of building the finest handmade watches using sustainable methods the name great smoky watches comes from the famous great smoky mountain national park and in tribute to that wonderful place the company donates 10% of the proceeds to the national park foundation now, in looking at their site, they have several variations and styles, and they graciously allowed me to pick the one that I'd like to see, and I'm about to show you that here. But, with it being Christmas here too, I decided to also take the opportunity to set something up for a very special friend of mine. And I'll go through all of that here in a minute, but in total, I picked two watches from this lineup. Here's a look at them now. The first is the Kilauea, which they say was created out of the desire to combine volcanic power with absolute precision. It's hand-built from recycled ebony and sandalwood and it has a stainless steel frame it also features the following specs here the movement is a high grade japanese quartz it features a crystal mirror and a 44 case diameter the band is 20 millimeter tapered sandalwood it has a weight of 84 grams and it is splash or rain resistant now like i said a second ago i also picked up one other watch here this one is for someone very special that i'm about to tell you about and for this gentleman who is a watch collector i picked this one that i felt was both unique to his collection and still fit in with his personal style and past selections that I've seen him use and for that I chose this one here the Coyote Buttes watch which is of course named for the beautifully famous cliff formations in Arizona this watch here is made from recycled woods and stainless steel and in contrast to the first watch I showed you this one has a nice look to it with the bigger numbers and red accents all in all I really felt like this was the perfect one to gift and I had the perfect recipient in mind so who is this person that I I gave the watch to well for those that, that didn't know before today a lot of you do know by now but just in case you didn't know for the last few months I've been working as a drug and alcohol counselor and then before that I interned at the place that I'm now working I interned there for almost a year and every day that I would come in I worked alongside this one gentleman named Cortez and he runs the, the front office and the front desk at the center that I work at he basically makes everything run smooth at the office and on top of that He's just an incredible human being. Over the past year, I've gotten to know him really well and all the places he's lived and all the things that he's seen. And in one of our many conversations, I learned last year that he was a watch collector. And last Christmas, I actually gave him a watch as well. And then this year, when I got the offer to review these wooden watches here, I just knew that this would make an awesome addition to his collection. And during our Christmas party at work, just you know, a week or, a week or so ago, I gave him this gift and a bottle of the Cornerstone Cologne, actually and he seemed to be really happy with the watch and in turn that just made me feel really happy I mean Cortez is just one of the best things about working where I do and I'm really glad that I was able to be a small part of his holiday celebration this year now though what do I think of these watches here well the craftsmanship I think is just fantastic I love how each of these watches look I I really like how each one has its own theme and pays homage to that theme very well it just does it in a special way when it comes to 
the internals and parts, I, I know a lot of you watch guys or watch enthusiasts are very particular, like I mentioned, about the internals, and I don't know enough about that, like I said, to really, really go into too much detail on that, but they do seem to work well. I didn't see any functionality issues when setting the time or the date, and everything seems to run as designed. You know, it didn't lag on the time or suddenly just stop running or anything like that. It, nothing like that happened or else I would have said something. The wood bands are also quite comfortable to wear. I mean, I've seen other wood watches where the wood, I've, I've reviewed one other brand, but I've also checked out others that I actually did declined to make a video on because the wood just felt so light and thin that it was almost off-putting, you know, like you put it on your wrist and it just feels very cheap and light. And honestly, it kind of felt like, you know, I could break this thing at, at any point in time, you know, very, very thin. But this here, I have to tell you, this here feels very solid. It doesn't feel like it's about to snap in half. You know, it's it's very solid, but it's still light. So it doesn't weigh your arm down and become uncomfortable to wear. So I, I thought that was a nice touch. The last thing I want to mention, though, is the box. You know, I'm, I'm a sucker for good presentation. I mean, I just love it when a brand puts a lot of time into their presentation. You know, I, I it's a very thin wood box, but it, it's just a nice touch. You know, it, it complements the watch very well. They got their, their name here actually branded into the box. Really nice presentation. And they actually include in, in there this little tool that allows you to remove the links yourself, which I, you know, do for most of my watches myself actually i have a kit that i actually do it with but like i thought the fact that they included this in the box was a really nice touch as well because when it comes it's actually quite big you know the bands when you first get them they're they're quite large i had to take about six total links at to get it to fit my arm so i thought that was cool that they actually put that in the box but in the end i think these guys have made something very cool i think it's different it's artistic it's well made they look great the price isn't that bad either the kilauea model that i'm wearing right here is 139.95 and the Coyote Buttes that I bought for Cortez is $149.95. And they are actually offering you guys a 15% discount with my code MMTV. That is site-wide. And as usual, that discount and a link is in the description there if any of you guys are interested in checking these out. If you did like today's video, though, make sure you let me know by tapping that like button for me. And let me know in the comment section. I always love hearing from you guys here on, on what you think about the video. If you haven't yet subscribed to, make sure you do that as well. And I also want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Christmas and a happy new year. I really appreciate all of you guys that have stuck around for 2020. It's been a it's been a crazy year, but hopefully we're going to hit 2021 running. It'll be a great year. I'm really just looking forward to uh, this next year and all the stuff that I have in store for you guys both here and at Dauntless. So thank you very much. Happy holidays. Happy new year. I'll see you guys next time. Hey there, everybody. Um, this is not how I was expecting to end this this video. Um, I filmed this one about a week or so ago, uh, right before Christmas, and about 20 minutes ago, I, I got a phone call from my boss uh, where I work that said that Cortez, the man that I just showed you, that I gave the watch to in this video, um, he, he passed away this morning. I'm, um, I'm still kind of, uh, in shock, honestly, but I thought, um, I thought I should put that in the video because he was, uh, a very special person to me. He's somebody that I looked forward to going to work each day. You know, he was one of the first people I saw when I came in the building. He, you know, we always stopped and talked for a minute and, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of at a loss as to, you know, whew, I'm, I'm just kind of overwhelmed at the moment. Um, I, I'm struggling to find words, but I'm really going to miss him. So yeah, I thought that I would, uh, I thought that I'd throw that at the end of the video. So thank you to everyone who checked this out and, uh, say a little prayer for my friend Cortez today. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. What you think, Cortez? Hey, I, I love it, Mike. I yeah. love it, brother. There you go. Love it. Yeah, buddy. <laughs>